Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Pokemon have just announced three brand new events that are going to be happening this coming week in Scarlet and Violet to celebrate Halloween. So we're going to cover all of the details for these events in today's video. With Halloween on the horizon, Pokemon have done a bunch of events to celebrate this holiday season. And we can start things off by looking at the next Spotlight Terror Raid event that will be happening in game. So it will not be a seven star Terror Raid event. Unfortunately, I did expect a seven star Terror Raid. I'm sure a lot of you did as well after the Blissey Raid has just ended last night. But the next event has been announced and it is going to be Halloween themed, which is quite fitting for this time of year. Although I would have loved to have seen the seven star raid kind of put in there just to celebrate halloween but unfortunately we are getting another spotlight terror raid event it is going to be a five star terror raid event as always with these spotlight raids and it will be featuring miss magius so the ghost type pokemon the nice bonus thing about this spotlight terror raid is it is going to give out a bunch of xl large and rare candies as rewards for this raid so it is going to be a good way for you to farm those items we just had the blissey raids which allows you to farm terror shards Get a lot of them very quickly in your game so the next raid that we're seeing is going to give us a bunch more of level up candies so that is going to be very good it is going to be running from the 27th of october this friday and will be running until wednesday the 1st of november so it is going to be a bit more of an extended one not just over the weekend but over Halloween as well and ending on that evening. And it will only be appearing in Paldea. So it won't be in Kitakami as well. It will only be in Paldea for this one, a bit like the Blissey Spotlight Terror Raid event. So if you have got the DLC part one, the Teal Mask, it won't be appearing in those, but it should be a pretty good event just to take part in and get yourself a lot of candies, making leveling up, building raid Pokemon or building competitive teams a lot easier going forward in the future. And a nice one, like I said, to celebrate Halloween. Another event that has been announced to celebrate Halloween is the return of the Mass Outbreak events. We previously had the first Mass Outbreak event for the Clefairy with the upbeat mark. And now we've got our next one to celebrate Halloween. And it won't be featuring just one Pokemon. It is going to be featuring four Pokemon. It's going to feature the Drifloon, the Phantom, the Graveyard, and the Mimikyu. All four of these Pokemon are going to be included in this Mass Outbreak event featuring a lot more prominently in Paldea and Kitakami. So if you do have the DLC, they will be appearing in both areas on these maps and it will have the increased chance of carrying the Crafty Mark. Again, this event is going to be running for a bit more of an extended period than we normally see these events. It will be starting this Friday and running through to Wednesday on the 1st of November. And even though it says Wednesday here, it will actually be Tuesday night for the majority of us. UTC time it will finish at midnight and not the Wednesday. So just be aware of that. This is in Japanese time zones. But you're going to be able to get these four Pokemon appearing a lot more prominently in both regions. And like I say, they're going to have the increased chance of having the crafty mark which is here if you've never seen it before a nice mark and it is a really good event it's gonna be very difficult to get all four of these pokemon with the crafty mark especially if you want to shiny hunt these with that crafty mark but i'll definitely be doing it on the channel we'll probably be streaming it over the weekend to celebrate halloween so this one is going to be a really good one to kind of get into and do especially if you enjoyed that last one with the clefairy but this will be running like i say the same sort of time frame as that miss magius raid event it will be running over the weekend over halloween and then we'll be finishing up on that tuesday night just before it ticks over onto the first of november and the final event that has been announced to celebrate halloween is a new battle competition it's going to be trick magic competition it will be an online competition where you can go on and battle other players will be singles battles and it will be featuring a ghost type pokemon registration period for this event is open right now as we're recording this video on the 23rd of october and running through to the 6th of november and the event itself will be taking place from friday november the 3rd until november the 6th so just be aware of these dates the period of the event running so it will be in a week later than the other events that we've covered in today's video but you can Take part in this and you will get, I think, 10,000 battle points for the reward of this battle competition that is running. I think Cerebi has covered most of the details here. You can see when the battles are running from it is singles and the Pokemon that are going to be allowed are all these ghost type Pokemon that we've got access to in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And you'll only be using one at a time. So pretty fun, interesting battle format that we're going to have access to. You can see here you can get 10,000 league points for just competing. I would imagine it's probably the same kind of format as we've had before where you have to complete three battles to get the rewards and then you can kind of stop battling if you want or continue if you're having a lot of fun with it. 
But they are all of the new events that will be happening this week in Scarlet and Violet and obviously next week with the battle competition taking place after that. Registration period is open now, but very exciting that we're getting another mass outbreak event and featuring up to four Pokemon that have those increased chances for that crafting mark. Very excited for that one. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. And which Pokemon out of all four will you be going after first if you are taking part in this event, of course. We've got the Miss Magius event as well, the Spotlight Terror Raid event that'll be happening later this week. For those increased drops of the level up candies, which is going to be really useful for in game. And hopefully, after these events finish, we do get the announcement of another seven star Terror Raid because it just feels like, well, when's the next one happening at the moment? Because I was totally expecting it to drop last night instead of this news but it doesn't look like that's happening it was a perfect opportunity for hisui and typhlosion it's a ghost type we could have had that one and we know we're probably going to get that one because we've had the hisui and decidui already but no they're gonna sit on it and save it for a later date but as soon as we do get any news on that next seven star terror raid event happening in game we'll cover it here on the channel if you found today's video useful please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content and I will see you all in another video very soon. Like I say, we'll be streaming the Mass Outbreak events when they go live later this week. So if you want to join us for those shiny hunts while we go for these crafty marks on some of these spooky Pokemon, it would be great to see you in the streams when we do that later this week. But have a great rest of your day, friends. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.